Solid modeling offers many advantages over wireframe geometry. Wireframe geometry is simply lines, arcs, and splines. Solids define the object by giving it solid form and an accurate visible representation. Solid models are often supplied by the customer as many design and engineering firms use sophisticated software tools such as SolidWorks, ProEngineer, and Autodesk Inventor. Mastercam is able to open these files in their native format, bringing the geometry directly onto the graphic screen. Translators are also common. The customer may supply the model in a standard translation format, such as IGIS or STEP. To view the types of file which can be opened by Mastercam, select File, Open, and then click the arrow next to Files of Type. Mastercam also has the capability to create solid models. The solids module must be purchased separately. Contact your dealer if solids are not available on your system. The value added by this feature is substantial. The first solid body created is called the base feature and usually represents the overall shape of the component. Wireframe geometry is used to construct the solid body. It's preferable to keep this construction geometry on its own level so that it can be kept separate from the solid body. Select Solid Extrude and chain the rectangular shape. The Extrude dialog box opens. Note the direction of the extrude arrow. If you wish to change direction, click on the geometry or check the reverse direction box. Enter a distance value and click OK. Shade to see the result. Solid Revolve creates solid form by revolving a closed shape around an axis line. Select a chain. Be sure the shape forms a closed loop. Select a line to be the axis of rotation. This line can be part of the original selected geometry. Note the direction of rotation. Reverse if necessary. In this case, we will rotate a full 360 degrees, so direction is not important. Solid loft creates shape from a series of sections. The result will be a lofted or smoothed representation of the shape. In this case, we're selecting chains that do not lie in the top C-plane, so set the chaining method to 3D. Chain the four sections. Be sure the arrows point in the same direction, or the result will be a twisted body. If you select Ruled in the Loft Chain dialog box, the result will not be smoothed out. It will retain a precise shape between each section, resulting in creases. Solid Sweep creates a solid body by taking a shape and sweeping it along a path. Switch to Front C-Plane. Note, you can always tell which C-Plane you're in by looking at the bottom of the graphic screen. Select Solid Sweep. Leave the chaining method to C-Plane. Because we're in the front C-Plane, the chain can only move around the loop as shown. The first chain selected is defined as the Across Contour. The next chain to be selected is the Along Contour, or Path. Two paths may be selected if the object is to change shape along the path. Extrude with Draft. Parts that will be injection molded, or cast, require draft angles on the sides. This angle is to allow the finished part to be ejected from the mold. Straight sides create too much friction and cannot be ejected efficiently. To create a drafted part, select Solid Extrude. Chain the entities. Click the geometry to change direction. In the Extrude dialog box, check Draft and enter a draft angle. You can edit your solid geometry by clicking Solids in the Operations Manager and then double-clicking parameters. To create a double-drafted part that would fit into two mold halves, check both directions and split draft and then regenerate the solid. 